Welcome guys to Saore Latinos Workshop. My name is Eddie Rocco and today we're going to be painting an alebrije, which is a fantastic creature from Mexican tradition. But today we are going to combine with one animal from Australia. Maybe a wombat, maybe a bandicoot, maybe a kangaroo, maybe a koala. We are going to be using watercolors, paper, brushes, lots of water. You guys can do it at home with your friends, with your family. Let's have fun. To start, we are going to be drawing some sketches. The first thing is just try to find some animals, um, some images on Google or, or online, you know, you can find different animals from Australia or, or even if you are in different country, you can find one special, uh, special animal from your country and just try to do some sketches, you know, you can use your sketchbook. And today I'm going to use one image that I found it on Google. We're going to paint in the bandicoot because it's a magnificent animal from, from Australia, for, for, from Victoria. It's a traditional animal and it's related to Easter time. And now we are close to Easter, so we are going to be drawing this uh, beautiful animal. This is an animal that is in danger of extinction right now in, in Victoria, in Australia. And this beautiful animal is like a small uh, bunny. L then they have little little arms, you know, like small arms. They used to catch different plants and small animals. You know, for for this part of the of the sketch, it's not so important just to be perfect. It's more like a rough drawing. You know, it's just try to create something that it catch your idea. And as well, because this one is going to be an alibri, this animal is going to be like a magic animal. So. For example, one touch that we're going to do here is just create a long, long, long tail. But at the end, uh, I was thinking maybe put some feathers, you know? Why not, you know? Have some feathers on the, on the tail. Let's just do some sketches here. So let's put this long, long tail and some feathers here. And also, guys, if, for example, you are drawing different animals, you can do some wings. Maybe this is a fantastic animal with wings, horns, or Whatever you, you guys really, to be honest, is, is no limit. You know, you can just do whatever you have in your imagination. I have one sketch here. Basically, you can start doing a few more, maybe small ones, you know, different, find different images, maybe just find different angles, different position of the, of the bandicoot or whatever, the koala or any animal that you are drawing. And just, just create different small, small sketches that you can just understand how the the proportion of this animal, but anyway, it's no, that is not a limit for your creativity. So you can just start doing, maybe you want to make the head a little bit bigger. Maybe the tail is longer, whatever guys. You don't have to paint one a specific animal. You can just draw your, your pet. Maybe your cat with wings. Maybe your dog has a, I don't know, a big, big long tail or horns or whatever. So you don't have limits, you know, you can do whatever you want, guys. After you have few sketches, you know, like these little ones, you can just decide, okay, which one to use. So now I'm going to use maybe this one that I have here, combining with this one. So I'm going to just create the final sketch, just, just to be able to paint it with watercolor. For this one, I'm gonna use combining all these ones that I have here. So let's put it here. So let's start with a big circle because this, this design is going to be more like a graphic uh, illustration. So let's create one big, big circle that is going to be our composition. You know, this one is going to be our main composition. So we're going to use just half circle for the whole body and half circle for the tail. So basically we're going to make this a small head here. I like this one here. The big body is like this big, big back of the uh, animal. So let's do it here, this one here. And let's create the big leg that they have, something like this. And as well, something that is very important is the ears. So the ears are going to be like this one, something here. So now we have almost our design, you know. We have almost our design. Let's make the beautiful eye here. Now we're going to put the 
Mexican style, you know, we are going to com uh, convert this uh, animal into a, a alebrije. So let's try to create some lines here. This is like a simple line, you know, it's very easy just to have some lines. As well, something that we can use is maybe have some small pieces here, like a dinosaur, you know, so have something here. This one are just little triangles. So you can use triangles here just to create this back, something amazing. And as well, we can just combine with different lines here and small circles, you know, just to create some kind of pattern. We're going to be using different colors just to have this very colorful and amazing. So for the ears as well, we can just improve something, something, we can just do something magic here. Maybe you, we can put long, long ears with some feathers or some hair here. We have this one here. And as well for the tail, we can just start combining some little lines. So we can just break this long tail. Uh, something like this. We start doing some small sketches like this, like this one. And um, finally, we decide just to work one of these ones. Now let's draw it on the watercolor paper and start painting. Now I'm going to explain to you guys how to transfer this one to your watercolor paper. But before that, I'm going to show you the materials that we're going to use. And as well, uh, we're going to do some small exercise just to have different patterns and have different ideas. So we can just implement those ideas into our design. We have some watercolor paper here. I'm going to show you this. This one that is more traditional one, and this one is soft. It's more for illustrators, you know, it's more, it's used more for illustration. You know, you can paint with ink, with pencil as well, and with watercolors. And this one is the most traditional one, the one that painters used to use, just to paint like landscapes and portraits and that kind of things. We're going to use this one, this watercolor paper. As you can see, the, uh, of course it has two different sides, but one side is very smooth, so that's not the one, oh, oh, you can use it if you want, but the one that we're going to use is the side that is more with a little texture. Now we have this small square here. We can start doing some patterns inside of those squares, you know, using as a sample the, the small sketch that we create. We're going to make maybe some lines, this, a few here, maybe combine it with some other, like this way, this way, we have some, triangles here, something like that, that we can just use. Even we can put some circles here as well. Okay, that's perfect. So now that we have these little patterns, we're going to start using some watercolors. Basically, I'm gonna be using uh, for this piece of art, we're going to be using liquid watercolors on this palette, you know, this is a ceramic palette. You don't need to have one of these, but you can use one uh, dish, one plate from your, your kitchen. You can use any color that you want, it's more like try to find the good combination or, or just to try to find your mood. But at this point is, is just put some colors and then just start combining them. So let's drop some green here on this small palette, let's a couple drops here, so we have something just to play around. I have another one, this one is like a purple color. Let's put something here, a few drops. Let's put more yellow for you guys. So probably we're going to use using a lot of yellow. And a little bit more of the this uh, magenta. Let's put some, some drops here. So now we have a few colors just to play with. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more, but I'm gonna show you later, guys. And as well, we have a few brushes that I, I really want to use. So, you know, if you guys have maybe, maybe one type of brush or, or maybe you don't have the, the, this one, the big one, you can use any brush, you know, you can just go to the $2 shop and just buy one of those small packages from, 
from those chops and you can have few different sizes. For this one, I'm gonna use this medium size and this very small to just to create few details. So let's use a lot of water, just put some water. So definitely we need some, some water and just take a little bit, just tiny piece of color because this, this liquid water color are very strong. So definitely you need to put a lot of water. We're going to start painting around this, just trying to keep the shapes that we have here. So this technique is called a uh, wet on dry because the paper is dry. You know, in watercolor, you can use so many different techniques, but today just for this workshop, we're going to be using mainly a uh, wet on dry. So basically the, the paper is going to absorb the paint that we are using. So it's easy for us just to work a little bit quicker and as well, it's easy to, to manage. But anyway, we are going to be using the hair dryer just to dry some paints because it's a little bit wet. So we can just wait a couple minutes or we can use the hair dryer. This one is more like a testing process, you know, just doing some brushes. It doesn't have to be really, really perfect. You know, this one is just a practice. Usually, I just prefer to have one bucket with clean water on this one, and maybe we can just clean our brush on this one. So let's try another color. The tricky part of watercolor is colors are going to combine, you know, you are going to put different layers. So let's try this one here. So different layers are going to combine, you know, for example, with this one, the yellow one is going to be on top of the blue. So it's gonna create like a green, greeny color. So that is, is perfect for our purposes here. So let's try to not touch too much the blue one. Put more color here. Now we have something that combines two colors and we are going to keep adding colors, you know, different colors. We are going to find which color are the best one for our piece of art. And sometimes I just prefer leaving this space here. We can test different colors, you know, for example, we have this color combination and we decide, okay, let's put some a little bit of red just to make one orange color or something like that. Sometimes you feel that it's quite strong, the color that you're using, but at the end it's going to be fine because the color is going to be less bright, less saturated. Okay guys, finally we have some patterns here, you know, the patterns that we have been working for the couple minutes. So definitely you guys can spend more time, maybe one hour just looking for different patterns. As well, you can find on, on internet, few ideas, some inspiration. So definitely we can start using this one, combining with the final design that I did, the sketches that we did before. I, I'm quite happy with this combination. Maybe I'm gonna improve this combination maybe here on the body. And maybe just working with this orange and red and green, maybe on the head. And, and the good thing here for the for Alebrijes is there is no limit, you know, your imagination can be, can fly everywhere, you know, so it's, it should be nice. It's going to be really nice to have different patterns and different colors. Now we're going to transfer this design into our watercolor paper. When I want to transfer my design into watercolor paper, I'm using like a pencil that is more uh, hard. I, I, mean, I mean, this one is 4H. So if you guys know, you know, pencils came in different a gradation, you know, from 6B or even 8B to H, HB, 4H. So I just prefer one, this one because it's, it's very soft and, and gentle with the paper, but it's, it's just more my personal preference. Even one school pen is going to be fine. Uh, we have our final design here. So we transfer this one into this piece of watercolor paper. You can just use in one, uh, table light, you can use your window just to transfer the design, or you can just sketch it again on your paper. You, you can just do it again and just try to be very precise and just try to find the perfect position for your design. Transfer the way that, that you want. You can use any material, but definitely has to be on one watercolor paper because that's the one that is going to absorb a lot of water. So you can use any way to transfer this one. So the second thing that we're going to do here is just put some sticky tape just to fix our watercolor paper and just put some masking tape on every 
side. The first thing that we're going to do here is just try to make a base, you know, a color base for the whole watercolor. So I'm going to use this big brush. That's what I mentioned before. It's a good idea to have few, few brushes. Doesn't matter, in this case, doesn't matter about the quality. You can use uh, brushes for watercolor. You know, usually brushes for watercolor are, watercolor are quite expensive. So I think it's, it's fine just to have one of these that you can buy on the $2 shop. So you have two big ones. Try to use one of these big ones and just put a lot of water. I'm gonna try to start pouring some water here using this greeny blue color just to have one beautiful base. At this moment, you have to just work a little bit quick, but that's the beautiful of watercolor. That's why some painters use watercolor just to do sketches outdoor, you know, because it's, it's easy to work with. And as well, it's very fast, you know, you have to be faster and faster just to try to create something. Okay, now the paper is dry, so we have one really beautiful base to start working. So now we're going to use the patterns that we created on the previous step. So probably I can see maybe this yellow with blue and orange is quite nice. Maybe we can just combine as well something like this. Now we're going to use the small brushes again, you know, the, the little ones that I have here. So let's start playing with the, with the yellow color. So let's put some yellow here and let's put some water, of course. Now that we are playing, painting this beautiful alebrije, Australian alebrije, we can use, you know, different color. You can start, you know, usually in watercolor, you start from, from very soft and gentle brushes to the darker ones. So I start doing just few tiny colors. After you made all these big ones, you can start working on the small ones. So even we can use some color pencil just to put some additional details. As well guys, you can start doing just those little dots, small dots that are going to give you some additional details. Okay guys, now that we have pretty much every single part of the of our alebrije done, we can start putting in small details, you know. As well, we can spend more time, you know, doing those little, little touches. Just try to use one small brush, like this one. And you can add small details, you know, small dots or little lines that are going to improve your, your final design. But as well, you have to be careful just to decide when is enough. I think we are close to get all the big shapes done. And then we can start doing some small details. And as well, I'm planning to use some color pencil just to have small details at the end. So we're going to use some color pencils. I'm gonna pick a few just to have some details, you know, a small, a small contrast and small details. And as well, I need some oranges that could be exactly. We're gonna use maybe one of these, maybe this, red. A few blues as well, because I've been using blue and green. So anyway, guys, you can use any color that you prefer. Basically, the, 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 the things that we're going to use with this color is trying to increase the contrast, you know, for example, here I can feel that probably we need more contrast here on this part. So it's, it's really good because for illustration, especially for, for children's book illustration, you can use so many different materials. So in this case, we are 
combining this watercolor with this beautiful color pencil. So it's easy just to make some contrast here. Now just putting little details on this beautiful bandicoot. This is an alebrije mixing Mexican tradition with Australian animals. So you can just do it at home. You can just paint your pet or whatever you want. But this beautiful bandicoot is almost ready. So let's put some little details here on the little face. Using this beautiful technique from Mexico is, is amazing because it's colorful. It, you know, everything is coming from your imagination. So let's put some little shadows here so we can just make the, our alebrije just pop up. Try to be gentle, so just put a little bit, a little bit. Don't press too much the, the pencil. So because it's, it's just a little bit. I use it, you know, you can see I'm trying to match a pretty much the same color, but this one is of course darker. And I'm really, really happy with the, our alebrije, you know, it's, it's, it's looking really good. Probably going to spend, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time just retouching small things, maybe working a little bit on the background. But I, I just want to show you guys, this is something that we can just do at home, you know, I'm so, so happy, you know, it's very colorful. This animal, this alebrije is amazing, you know. You know guys, alebrijes are fantastic creatures. Sometimes it's based on animals, real animals, but sometimes we can put wings, we can put big tails, horns. We can do so many things with our alebrijes. And the special thing is, we can let our imagination just fly. We can fly and do different colors, just working with different materials. In this case, we work with uh, watercolors and, and color pencils. Okay, guys, thank you for joining us in this uh, workshop for Sabores Latinos. I hope you guys have a really good time. Just find us in social channels, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Sabores Latinos Instagram, and subscribe to our channels. And as well, share with us your creation, you know. Every single piece of art is going to be amazing and you guys can share and just make some comments and everyone is going to be happy with that. So just share with us and enjoy. Have fun guys. <laughs>